We are Project Indiana! When Indiana Co-op linemen answered the call to energize this rural village in the highlands of Guatemala, they were following one of the seven cooperative principles, concern for community. But that desire to, to want to help people was, was prevalent there. Going to a, a foreign country like that, a third world country, was kind of like going back in time. They didn't fully realize they were going back a full century in time, doing the same work, the same way, that our co-ops did 80 years ago, when 10% of America's farms had electricity. Back in 1935, Indiana's co-ops were the first in the U.S. to turn on the lights and electrify rural areas of our state. Let me know, you can keep contact with me. So in the spirit of paying it forward, the Project Indiana linemen brought skill, experience, tools, and know-how. There you go. And then provided hands-on advice and training to the local villagers. And I feel that uh, we got them to where they need to be and they need to uh, move on from here. That's their first step. With the power lines up, Sepamac is on the threshold of huge change. It may surprise you that a hydroelectric plant built by the Japanese here in these jungles will provide the power to fuel the village and hopefully help them become self-sufficient. The big question now for the villagers is sustainability. Could a rural electric cooperative here in these mountains be the answer? Unifying the villagers to become independent, democratic owners of their power. As you well know, we brought 14 lines. To lay the groundwork for a co-op, Gavin Strantz meets with Adolfo Hernandez, the manager of the electric utility, along with Hugo Ariaza of NRECA International. The advantage that I see with working for a co-op rather than association is the number of resources that we have. They see that the um, cooperative system that's a family, which, which is an advantage to work in cooperation with others. We're looking forward to finishing this project up up here. But the one thing I want to tell you is the boys from Indiana that have come here to help you are looking forward to working with you in the future. And uh, line work is line work no matter where you, where you go. And if there's anything we can do to help you in the future, we'd be more than happy to and help you. Thank you for your goodwill. You're one of my brothers now. Usted es uno de sus hermanos ahora. When meters are installed in these homes, Sepamax families will pay about $3 a month for electricity. They spend almost three times that amount now for candles and flashlight batteries. NRECA, the National Rural Electric Cooperative Association International, helps develop electric co-ops in Guatemala where the 25-year-old co-op movement is strong and there is much gratitude for the work of Project Indiana. I say thank you very much. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, in Guatemala, we have uh, people that don't have light. If the people have the light, have the education, have the, the economics activities, they change. And in many ways, that's the lesson here for Project Indiana. You can't see electricity, but you can see what electricity does.